All right, guys, we got a 2020 Accord. It's a turbo, 1.5 liter. Uh, I'm sorry, this is 2.0. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the battery power. I got this on my uh, DC voltage here. We're gonna plug this right here. Uh, I can't attempt to hold this with anything. Okay, that's a good spot. We're gonna pop this open and we had a voltage drop on the alternator. Right now we got a 10 volt here. Guys, start the car. Nothing. All right, let's get the jump box. So we're gonna put the jumper on because right now this thing has no power. The alternator is not giving us any power. It kicks in and off, on and off, okay? So that's what the alternator is doing. We got ourselves a new alternator. And uh, I'm gonna show you that too. So we're gonna put this on the positive here. And I'm gonna put this on the negative. I gotta put my voltmeter on. Then we're gonna check. Okay, right now we should get uh, better voltage. Go ahead, crank it. Nothing, hold on, I don't have a good connection. Go ahead now. So as you can see, it's giving 14 volts right now. But every once in a while, it kicks off. It doesn't want it all the power. So we decided to get another alternator. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. See the power drop there? 11 volts, okay? Shouldn't be doing that. So uh, we're gonna change the alternator on this baby and uh, that should take care of that. Okay, so we got a new alternator. Last one at the dealer. There's the part number. Put original alternator if you're gonna do so. So here's the alternator. This is what we're gonna put in this baby. And uh, this is almost five, 600 bucks right here for this Accord. So we're gonna start this job. All right, so I took off this little guy right here. So just twist this guy. This guy comes off and then it's like slotted in here and in here, this guy comes right off. No pressure here, okay, so don't worry about it. So once this is off, just put it to the side. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to get this guy out if I can get it out. There's so much stuff on the way. So we're gonna remove this clip right here. Let's see if I can do it with the hand. If not, we'll get a flat -head screwdriver. We're gonna take this guy off. This clip should come off. Put it somewhere safe. Now we should be able to take the neck off right here. This neck comes off. And you should have a lot of room for this little guy to come out. This guy comes out. I'm gonna put this right down here. So it's nice and straight in my garbage can. And we should be able to get to that belt. And after that, we're gonna remove this little guy. There you go. Take this guy off. Put it away. Okay, now the alternate is older in the bottom. We might be able to swing it this way. I'm not sure how you're gonna get it off, but we're gonna take off a couple of the stuff here if you need to, but I am gonna check from the bottom. See if I have enough clearance in the bottom, but there's really no clearance here. And uh, this will be my best bet right here between these pipes here to pull this alternate out of here. But we need to take out the belt and take off the battery gonna disconnect the battery on this guy and we're gonna leave the battery to the side okay and that's that all right now we're gonna go down here let's aim a little bit down and we're gonna get the belt off so to get, take out the belt we need to yank on this tensioner right here so you see how it goes down and there you go once it goes down it's pretty easy to get the belt off this guy Everything is made super tight on these cars nowadays. Can't get my hands on any. Okay, you know what? Let's let me get another tool. Okay, I want to get two of these 10 millimeter bolts here. That will give me more space to work with the belt. This is the bracket for cooler reservoir. This guy comes out, and that's it. Take off the belt. Let's look a little bit down. You just push down on this, and I should be able to grab this belt and get it off just like that. And I can just let it sit here, okay? This is fine. I'll let my tool sit here, it'll hold the 
belt in place but at least the belt is loose okay all right that's it now we're gonna go to the back okay can't reach the bolt alternate is in a messed up spot put a floor jack on the ground right here all to the oil pan we're gonna pump it a little bit my friend's gonna pump it here for me just a tiny bit so there you go the engine is up that's it i'm gonna remove this bolt this bolt i did take off the 10 millimeter of this ground and this is kind of stiff but should come out so if you're taking off this dog bone right here dog bone mount it's two bolts but to change this you don't really have to put the floor jack on Ugh, okay i'm gonna take off this little guy right here and this one right here. bracket should come off there you go I'm gonna put this way this guy should come off so if you're removing that little mount you're gonna have to take off all this so yeah I thought we didn't have to take off these so one two three one down there one over here 17 millimeter all of them okay so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach down here 19 here let me switch my sockets here Okay, so 19 down here. I'm sorry, 17 down here. And then we got another 17 all the way down there. Okay, there you go. So far looking good. Let's save the bolts. Throw here so I remember where they are. Just don't lose the bolts and don't lose the order. And now, remember my tensioner here is sitting against the engine mount, so it should come off once we even take that off. So let's switch the sockets one more time. This is a 19 millimeter. So three bolts, one, two, three. Remember your engine is resting on your floor jack. Put my air compressor on. okay so i got the compressor running these bolts your engine is going to try to drop a little bit because all the weight so one two i'm going to put it back here keep everything in order now this should just come out Okay, so this AC line is bothering us. I'll remove that 10 millimeter. What I'll do is I'll just take off this guy right here. So I had a 10 millimeter holding this ground down here. So make sure you put that right here too when you're finished. So this stays here. The AC line should move and give me some freedom here. And there you have it. The whole mount assembly. So this is disturbing us. Everything is disturbing everything. But what we need to do is take off my wrench here. I should have figured that out first. I'm gonna push that with the pry bar. Okay, so we're gonna just hold that out of the way, and I'm gonna try to yank this. Man, this is crazy design. There you go. We got a whole lot of space. I'll uh, bring that tensioner back. Right, that's good. Leave it there. That's fine. Okay, now. Uh, I'm working on the alternator, so if you can see, because I still can't see, but uh, the bolts are all the way down here. This is where the bolts are right there on the alternator. I could probably see it now. All right, no problem. At least you can pull the engine forward and get the alternator out. So I took off both the bolts from right here and uh, got the alternator loose. It's hanging right there now. I need to take off that 12 millimeter right there, but make sure you have your battery disconnected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my impact gun right here and there's a little clip right back here. Make sure you remove that. So what we're going to do is got my electric drill right here. You see this? I'm about to bang this bolt off. And that thing is just seized in there. So I'm going to have to do it manually. This little guy. So 
Again, make sure your battery is disconnected there. Honda won't give you this bolt with the new alternator, so make sure you save it. Um, this guy comes right off. See this? And I did take off the connector there previously. So now, uh, I got bad back. I'm going to have one of my friends pull this alternator out from this spot right here. It's more than enough clearance right here. And I'm going to take off this brake line from the booster here or from this side here. I think it goes to the booster. I can't see, but I'm going to take off this vacuum line. I'm going to move this out of the way like that. Should be more than enough room right there. All right, so ready? We're going to put this we're going to put this baby in. So my friend here is going to grab it from the pulley. He's going to guide it. Give me the light a little bit. Okay, this pipe. You're going to have to push the pipe with one hand. Okay. So there you go. Alternator is going down. We don't want to break any of the pipes. We're going gently. I got my hands on the bottom. You got it? Yep. Can you pull that? I got it. Can you pull the alternator? Yeah, you engine forward a bit. Perfect, there you go, it's back in the bottom and we're good to go. It's really, really complicated down here. No space to work. Anyways, uh, there we have it, I got the 12 millimeter in. I'm gonna put my hand right from back here. Moving that mount, took me 10 minutes only, but it gave me a lot of space to work at. So I'm gonna take this guy, make sure it clicks just like that. And the other end, you got the little clip, make sure that goes in. This is bada bing bada boom so i can barely touch and feel any of these while the alternator was on so i had to remove it and just let it sit right there um hopefully you guys can see and that's how i got that baby in now it's time for me to put all the bolts in so this is where i'm working from right here i got the bolt in camera really can't be because you can't see nothing in there anyway put that in put the second bolt on the top i got everything matched up two bolts connectors are in we'll put the uh, belt on after that yeah, we're ready to put the belt on slowly, so you're gonna feel like a jerk to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this belt. Kind of crooked it here. Go slowly, see if, how far you can yank. Okay, something's wrong. Okay, it's off here. Let it go. No, no, no. Hold on to it. A little bit more. Can you go a little bit more? There you go. The belt is going on. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Good. Yep. Let it go. There you go. And the wrench should come off, and that's it. I'm gonna check all the police. It's smooth everywhere. And no, 250 plus 50. <laughs> belt, and that's it. So I just gotta confirm the belt is good, and all the police. And now. Whenever we change the alternator, we do change the battery with it, especially these cars, because sometimes the battery dies and it sucks all the, uh, it overworks the alternator. So we got that coming on the next video. But right now, we gotta get this mount in. So make sure you grab it the same way. My friend here is gonna help me right now. It should drop right in. And that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Put all the bolts in, put your dog bone in. Make sure you put this ground in, very important. And that's it, it's all done. Put everything else back together. So we put the three bolts in and two bolts in. 17 millimeter goes in. One. Two, I'm gonna double check this. Oops. And I'm gonna switch up my socket. I'm gonna put a 19 millimeter on. And this baby is gonna get locked in real tight. Ah! That's it, we no longer need the floor jack. All right, I'm gonna check this one, kinda messed it up a little bit, but I'll figure that part out. But it's not. It might be bit, but it's gonna stay there now. Take it, easy. Take it easy with your balls, but that's fine because it might be rusted in there. But we're done here. Dog bone mount is next. Don't forget the ground there. So I'll put that in last. So this baby goes in just like that. Let's get that ground out of the way. 
and always catch your threads by hand there you go looking good then we got one bolt here he's finished and we got one bolt here there you go perfect And I'm gonna put the ground on at the end. So just gotta get it locked up. One, two, three, and four. That's it, all done. We took off the 10 millimeter here, the ground and tool on the bottle and put the bottle back in. And we're done. Okay, we inside the car, we're gonna start the car. You don't need that jump. No, no, I'll put it in the trunk. Okay. So we got a new battery and a new alternator. So this video was just about changing the battery. So start up the car. You're gonna have all the lights in the dash there. That's fine. You have to drive it. All you I want you to do is do a calibration. Go to menu here. Where's your menu? Let it load up. Press menu. So if you got all the lights in the dash, you have to change the battery. Uh -huh. Press OK. OK, so you have to hold that for two seconds. Press, go to settings. Vehicle. TPMS calibration. Calibrate some of the lights will go away, but I want him to drive the car and all the lights should go off after that. 